Sammy and the Robots by Ian Wybrow. It was a shock for Sammy when his robots fell over. It was doing a nice job marching and suddenly its lights went out. Sammy heard Gran in the yard, so he ran out to show her. One of the robot's batteries had leaked onto its wires. Sammy and Gran packed up the robot and sent it to the robot hospital. They'll know how to fix it, Gran said. Sammy wanted to make another robot to play with while he waited for his marching robot to come back. Good idea, said Gran. We'll use my best scissors if you'd like. They laid out everything they needed on the table. But they never got started. Gran wasn't feeling well, so Mom made her go up to bed. When Sammy woke up the next morning, there was no Gran. She had to go to the hospital, Mom explained. Sammy started to make a robot all by himself. He wanted to use Gran's best scissors just like she had said he could, but Meg said, no, those are Gran's. That was why Sammy threw his stegosaurus at her. Mom took him aside to settle him down, and she said, you may use Gran's best scissors if she said so, but only while I'm watching. Sammy worked hard all morning. And before long, there was a new robot. Sammy taught it to march. He taught it to talk. But best of all, he taught it to blast. The robot said, hello, Sammy, blast. hospital was big, but they soon found Gran. Mom said Meg and Sammy had to wait outside Gran's room. They waved through the window, but Gran did not wake up. Meg and Mom whispered with the doctors, so Sammy slipped into the room with his new robot. He held the robot close to Gran. The robot said, hello, Gran. Gran opened one eye. It winked, and the robot said, blast. Mom ran in, Sammy, no, she cried, but the doctor said not to worry. A robot will be a good helper for Gran. That evening, Sammy was very busy. He joined, he stuck, he painted, and soon he made five more robots for Gran. They guarded her, they marched for her, and no time, Gran was better. Gran came home and unpacked her things. You're a good looker after her, she whispered. And my robots, said Sammy. Oh yes, those two, said Gran. I'd like to keep them with me, if you don't mind. Sammy did not mind at all. Gran went out to the yard to check on her chickens. They were just fine. That afternoon, a package arrived. It was the marching robot back from the robot hospital. Its lights glowed and it did a nice march. Good as new. The end. And this shows all the robots that Sammy made.